Hi everybody, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop and it's time for another sidebar conversation. I haven't done one of these since June and a lot has happened since then, so I've got a lot to catch up on, so stick around for this shop update. So the last project video I made was for this Pink Floyd The Wall album art. This was part of the Maker's Rock album art collaboration that I did with several other channels and I'll include a link in the video description below uh, to a playlist where you can catch up on all of those album art projects. Uh, part of the collaboration was to do a giveaway of the album art and also Rockler provided a speaker kit prize that I could give away as well. So I gave them both away to one person. So congratulations to Matthew K in Minnesota. I'm going to ship this album art to you this week. And I already gave your information to Rockler so that they can ship you out the really cool speaker kit. So uh, thanks to all the other guys who participated in the collaboration. And also thanks to Rockler who provided that really cool speaker kit prize. Now, uh, when I was trying to decide what album to do, it was cool going through my album collection and picking out some album covers. So I picked out a few of my favorite, most creative album covers that I've still got. So let's take a look at those. Back in the old days, we used to go to these places called record stores, and we would thumb through the albums and check out the album artwork, look at the pictures and the song listings on the back. And part of the experience of buying music back then was to also get the album art and the liner notes where you could learn about the bands. Well, some of the bands back then took the artwork to the next level. And one of them that was famous for doing this was Led Zeppelin. Now the story goes that Led Zeppelin was not happy with their record company and the record company was responsible for paying for the packaging for the album. So to get back at their record company, Led Zeppelin designed some really elaborate artwork and that forced the record company to spend lots of money on it. So this one is Led Zeppelin 3, and it's a double album that opens up and it's got some more imagery inside. But the cool thing about it is that it had this little wheel with cutouts on the front. And you could sit down and just spin this around and take a look at all the images that pop up in the uh, little holes in the front. So that was kind of cool. Uh, the next one is also Led Zeppelin in through the outdoor and it came in a brown paper bag. <laughs> uh, this was a Rolling Stones one and it's kind of similar with cutouts in the front with the different hairstyles and you can just move the insert and reposition the faces on the different hairstyles. This was a Twisted Sister album. Uh, it's a picture of the street with some hands coming out of a, hand, a manhole cover and if you lift up the manhole cover, look, it's D. Snyder. Woo! <laughs> uh, so the album cover was kind of creative, but the album sucked. This is the one that had Leader of the Pack on it. Ugh. Uh, 38 Special, uh, they had a similar thing with the cutout uh, with a slide in sleeve that you could move around. And this last one is Sticky Fingers by the Rolling Stones. Uh, so if you're an old guy or woman, you might remember this one. <laughs> but the original one had a working zipper on it, uh, but the one I have has just like printed gold metallic ink on there to simulate the zipper. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you have any album covers or if you remember any that kind of took the album art to the next level. But that was a really fun project and a collaboration. I have a couple of new additions to the shop. You may have noticed this 3D printer. This is one of those Prusa i3 kits. And I got it a while back and put it together and gave it to my son and I said, here, learn how to use this. <laughs> so he's printed several things with it. So we brought it out to the shop and now I'm going to get him to show me how to use it. Uh, so I'm going to start doing some things with this. This should be pretty cool. I think I'll build some sort of enclosure for it and maybe add some LEDs and kind of light it up uh, and keep the dust off it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Also, I finally ordered a chuck for my lathe so I can do some bowls and things. I got one of the Nova G3 chucks uh, with a little insert that will make it fit on my lathe. So I'm looking forward to doing some videos with both of these. Well, it seems like the sticker craze is dying down because over the last few months, I've only received probably five or six stickers 
but all the ones I've received, I've put them up here on my sticker spinner, so hopefully you can see your stickers spinning around up here. Uh, I got another sticker this week that I need to put up there. Uh, also, I got this cool t-shirt from Nathan. Uh, he has a channel. It's called A Young Man's Workshop. And I'll include a link to his channel in the description below, so check out his videos. Uh, he's got a couple videos where he makes a copper lamp, uh, so things out of combination metal and wood. He's also got a uh, couple videos on screen printing. He prints his shirts himself, like I do, so uh, that was pretty cool to see. So thanks, Nathan. So let's get this new sticker put up here. Just a couple of things to update you on since my last sidebar, which was like four or five months ago. <laughs> uh, let's see, I've been reorganizing some in the shop, so it's kind of hard to make videos when stuff is just everywhere. But I'm getting rid of some stuff I never use. Uh, you can probably see I took down some of the boxes up on the shelf, and I put some of my projects on display up there instead. So I like how that looks. Uh, also, I was on the Woodshop 101 podcast with Drew Short and Jeremy Crawford. I did several episodes with them, so I'll include links to those episodes in the video description below. Uh, also, I was on the Waylight Creations channel. Uh, Ryan did a video where he asked several makers some questions about what we think about freebooting. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link down below for that as well. And... Uh, also, since I gave away my Pink Floyd The Wall album art, I wanted to have one for myself. So I cut out a whole bunch of pieces extra so I can create one for myself. So I'm working on that too. Um, I have plans for sale over on my Etsy store for my scroll saw stand and the uh, 10 fun scroll saw projects video that I did. Uh, all of those projects, the plans are available over on my Etsy store. If you'd like to check those videos out, they're right here. And also, if you're new to my channel, you just happen to find one of my sidebar conversations. Normally, I do a project video, but this is just where I do a, a shop update. Uh, so please subscribe over here and check out all my previous videos. And as always, I want to thank the rest of you for watching what I do here in my shop. And thanks for subscribing and keeping up with what's going on here in the Carmichael Workshop. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.